On today's episode of Moto Cheese. What is up, motherfucker? I did cut in some speakers. I have a big subwoofer I was going to cut in there, but then I changed a plan afterward that maybe I'll just put like some kind of a little bazooka tube or something if it's needed. I got some of this poly stuff. I had this kicking around for a long time. Ames. That's how long I've had this. The holidays are a time for better values. That's why you should shop at Ames. Ames. We grew up with better values. Who remembers amazing Ames? I should have enough to cover this. Got a big roll of white. And after I was thinking, I was like, I should have got maybe the off-white a little bit. Ordered that online. I'll give a link. This stuff is a lot less expensive than I thought. Good stuff. Leather-like. I ordered these speakers years back for my media room for some mid-range. These Rockvilles will be sitting right in there with the proper orientation of course like that goes behind it anyway you get it after I'm done that'll look like a dat one there one here I guess I could have put a free air subwoofer but it's not going to be as efficient as if I get some kind of a tube in there so these will get put to good use got the parts for the gear case Ooh, comes a new drain screw awesome and anchor rope Small stuff for that little, my little rowboat. Some bigger stuff for this. For the pontoon boat. That was fairly cheap. Links are always either in the description below or motorcheese.com of course. So I'm just waiting on an air upholstery nailer which I had an old one that was crapping out. I bought a brand new one and I also bought some stainless steel wire staples. Yes, you can use T50 but the wire staples for upholstery is so much better like a little tiny round wire it's a lot smaller it sinks in and it hides especially for doing upholstery and rug type stuff t50 is good but then they switched from the swing line to the boston stapler in my opinion these wire staples are better i did clean up this cover a little bit I cleaned it up armor all it, and i missed a spot I'm not going to put a conventional radio in here. I actually have a little Bluetooth with a radio. This little device. So it's an FM radio. It's Bluetooth. It'll take the different type of SD cards or a USB stick. And I've tested it out. works pretty good. I'll put this somewhere where it's out of the weather, I guess. I don't know. You definitely can't get this wet with a little amplifier somewhere. Maybe I'll put that in where the radio goes. I don't know. See, so these are the subwoofers I was thinking of using. So I've got a few things to do, but it's going to happen. So the seats will come today. And I'm thinking of doing beside the seats, where the seats go. I'm going to put a table on each end. And now underneath that table can be batteries on one side, fuel tank on the other. And I'm going to have to build off this trailer to make it work, which is going to be another feat. I think I'm going to go with smaller diameter tires. This pontoon boat weighs... Uh, I think it said 1,200 pounds or 1,100 pounds. So I don't need that big of a tire. I don't want to be that far out of the water trying to launch it. So I'll end up going with a smaller tire. Maybe something with a 1,000 pound rating each tire. Instead of that, I think it's like 1,800 pounds. That's a 13. I could probably go down to at least a 12. And then have to fire up the old Everlast welder. Ah, looky what came. Got my little couches. And they are gray. So I'm hoping that when I wrap that with my white material, it's not going to look too crazy. But there's a lot of white on that anyway. And this does have a blue band, which I have some blue material. I could do a little band to break it up. So maybe it won't look as bad. I don't know. We'll see. Oh. Stainless hardware. Plastic. Very nice back hmm. 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 
Hmm. Come a long way since 1980. It's all plastic. Pretty neat. They were like uh, 300 bucks a piece. And as the directions say, they're not meant to be freestanding. I was hoping to fit the life jackets in there, so it looks like it looks like that will work. If it's an eight person capacity, that means you have to have at least eight life jackets and one throwable because it's over a I think it's fifteen foot boat or fourteen feet, whatever that is. So I guess between the two of these we'll be able to fit all those. The shaft feels pretty smooth. Well, sorry guys, forgot to turn my camera on when I was pressing those seals in. The first seal goes in normal, flat on the outside, and the second seal goes in backwards so they're facing each other. And I actually found one of these that was perfect. And I put another one on top of it and it tapped in, the other one tapped in, and that's good. Is it, is it going? By oh, almost lost her. You think that pickle fork would stick between there? That's a big ass wedge. Where the fuck is it? There they are. There it goes. There. Some bitch. Rotate it. God damn, huh? Beautiful thing. I could probably get under it. Yeah. What the hell? They don't have that piece in there? There's supposed to be a little key that goes in there with a little groove. Well, no, this is that groove is there, but there's supposed to be a little flat key that sits in there when you put this on it. Oh, right here. Oh, there it is. It's a plastic piece. <coughs> So it did have it. Oh my god. <laughs> I have this seal, but I don't know if I really, really, really want to take this apart. But that doesn't look in that great of shape either. Salt water, baby. Look at that. Corrosion. Mm hmm. Damn. What's the trick? Because you can't get behind it. I almost think it might have started. It almost feels like it might have moved a little. Hmm. I wonder if the seal remover will get leverage under that. Not really. Jesus. Tearing the thing apart. Salt water. That seal might be good enough. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looking that way. Get a little leverage on that sun bitch, huh? I guess that's uh that's staying. <laughs> Hope it don't leak. <laughs> There's nothing else I could nothing I could do. Can you think of anything? It's still soft. Get another 20 years out of it. This ain't coming out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I thought it broke. Did you hear it? Yeah, it scared me. Yeah, well, uh, that's permanent. So now how about this shaft? That seal. Should I bother? Those are the little ones that go in there, I think. I know what that is. That's a drain. They said that came with a gasket. Yeah, that's why you don't buy nothing from salt water, huh? Sucks I couldn't change that seal. Next time I rebuild it, I'll take that apart. <laughs> Is that right? Does it go that way? Yeah. Or does it go that way? You can see which end we ripped off, right? So then that means this goes this way. Which means this would have to go that way. Which would have to go this way. Just like that. Well, that's a floppy thing, huh? 
Yeah, seems pretty shitty. And the Mercruiser ones, it's a flat pin with a little groove and it's stainless steel and you drop it and you line the groove up. I like that one better. Yeah, you have to figure out which way it turns because that's the way you gotta fold it. Oh yeah, those are folded. So this is clockwise. So you're pushing against that lift with the wedge. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so it's clockwise. Yep, you ever start a boat without putting water on it and run it and have that whole thing just friggin' rip apart? I have, on accident. You think the water's on, you go start it, and earmuffs fall off. Great. Did it? Oh, Chris, what'd you do? You're probably supposed to spin that up in there and then put it all like that. So this isn't an instructional video. <laughs> Just don't, yeah, don't do what we do. <laughs> See if you can hold that stainless plate. Hold that shaft. All right. Oh, okay, it stay. If it actually stayed. Woo! Shielding. The o ring sticks out, just cut it. Get <laughs> the razor. We good. Well, that's done. I guess I could put the oil in it. It was definitely smashed. Yeah, three in that pump, too. Is there? Oh yeah. Starfish. Yeah, look at the way that thing was mashed in there. Now this screw, look at it, stripped out. So I'm going to have to weld it. I have to weld a bolt to it. Wish me luck. Yeah, I think that'll work. So what the hell is stripped on this? Jeez. The thread looks okay in there. What was this? What the heck? Gotta love the Everlast. The new one's got thread all the way. How bizarre that is. It doesn't have a thread all the way. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it is stripped. Ah, damn it. Well, wish I knew that before I put all this work into it. Now what? This doesn't make any sense. This is a stainless steel hex cap bolt. Threads in there. Look how nice. This doesn't. It like threads in and then starts spinning, so... I don't get it. I know it's got a magnet, but I'm getting ready to just cut the end of this off and put that up in there. I mean, it looks like it'll stick out a little bit. What are you going to do? No worse than this garbage. That'll work. This ain't kickstart, is it? Yeah. No, it's electric start too, though. I was going to say. Left kickstart. Left kickstart, yeah. chain drive on the right. <laughs> I was like, kickstart. Why? Look how long them fork tubes are, too. Dude, got Timex watch. Not bad. The <laughs> little bit of hair he's got, it does stick up. <laughs> what do you think? Well, yeah. It's not bad. For it no it one, ain't. For no one carbureted freaking. Yeah. It goes pretty fast. I, I drove it. It's pretty quick, but I was expecting more like that KTM 690. 
No, it's not fuel injected. That's why. Yeah. Still and it's older. Yeah, first, second don't. Second does. Well, if you snap, if you snap it. I get second, third. Yeah. Figure good idea to take these off and clean up. That's well, pretty clean. Or see if it needs to be cleaned up in there. I don't know how this lower unit's gonna do. Might end up finding another lower unit. But I got me some old lower unit gear lube, high viscosity stuff I've had kicking around for a long time. So I'm gonna fill it up and see how these seals hold. I had a little vacuum pressure test. I couldn't seal it up well enough, but it did hold a vacuum. Didn't video it. I had too many people around. Of course, you pump from the bottom hole up to this hole when it's full up there. Ooh, like that. I got this all ready. used almost the rest of this quart. It was a fresh quart and it used almost a full quart. So now I clean this up and see if I have any leaks. I do want to try to fix this keel a little better than what that is. Hard piece of rubber is not really a bad idea hitting stuff. This needs to be maybe shaped a little better. I don't know how long this lower unit's gonna last, guys, but hey, if it makes it through the season or two. The next day. Hmm. No leaks so far. Looking good. If that goes on here first, which I believe it does because it's tapered, it pushes up against that other hole. So I flipped it over and we're gonna leave it like this for a while and make sure no oil leaks out of anything. Because then we know it's watertight. And I'm going to work on this keg or keel or what would you call this? Keg? The fin. They make a one of them things you could buy. I don't know. I think this will work okay. So I think if I put the fin on this side and notch this out, socket head cap screw sticks up a little bit, it's not going to cavitate as much. I'll round these edges off, likewise all the way around and bolt it on there. And then I'll be ready to put it on. This thing's been sitting both ways, upside down and right side up. and. No oil's leaking out, so maybe it'll work, maybe not. <laughs> that should work. Yeah, I don't have any stainless hardware to size, so looks like I'll be using these again. These look like they're stainless. They're not rusting, so they must be. bad not too bad it's not bad not perfect but not bad so that's ready to get thrown on no leaks Never sees everything. I'm just about ready. Ready to throw it on. Waiting for my gas tank. 
and a few other things that haven't arrived yet. Yeah, see how far back they put that seat? Yeah. It's way too far back. I think I might move it. Because then the console can basically come as far forward as I can. That's way too far back for the console to begin with. Yeah, how can you sit comfortably back there? Exactly. Time you spend standing while you drive it, so you can see over the floor. It's yeah. still too far back. Look, this came with seats. It had a thing right there that was, this was like set up for fishing after. I don't know what it was originally. I have to look up the pictures, I guess. But even as it is now, I mean, yeah, that, that's got to come up a good, almost a foot, really. I was going to move it as far back as possible and then put a cooler in front of it. But now I'm looking at it, it's going to have to go as far forward as possible. And then that chair is going to have to move up. I'm going to move this up, get that chair where you could just stand in front of it. And then that'll, I think that'll flow. What do you think? Do you even need a corner over there? Well, you got to have a spot for batteries and for the gas tanks. So I'm going to put them on two different sides. I feel like you could put one here. Put both of them on this side and then just put, put like, like another chunk here. I like this, this is a good layout for those chairs. Both of these Why will not? fit in the back together mm -hmm. but then when if you ever have to get back there it's going to be a bitch. You know and I'm going to make a New piece one. there with a cup holder and a piece there so that's all going to be closed in that whole corner. Once this is, this is definitely going to have to come up. That's ridiculous. I'm glad I got the seats before I mounted that console. We could still put a cooler here. That's what I was saying. Anyone should go there. Well, I was thinking like a cooler there and a cooler here. You can only <laughs> have eight people, so you got two, four. Not that any of us have eight friends, but seven friends. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.